Hello, everybody. Welcome to Naturally Kim's Knitting. I'm Kim, and this is my podcast, which today, who knows what it's about. Usually, it's about knitting, but I have a little friend who just keeps knitting from taking the prior, pri- the prioritized place that it used to. That's my Casper. I'm doing this on my phone because we decided to take a walk to the end of the lane, and I was going to sit down and listen to a book. And my little boy needed to run because I just told him I think he has the energy of a Great Dane in a little tiny po- toy poodle body. <clears throat> which, which gets me right because right now he's just leaning against my leg looking around. Anyways, um, I hope you're, oh, I can't show you my, my tea bags at, for my advent calendar because I'm not inside. I'm sorry. I have been enjoying a tea bag from last week every day and I have to tell you, all of those teas are great. This is from Puku. So good. Anyways, um, what did I have? I had joy this morning. It was good. I couldn't quite, I still, I didn't look at the back of the, um, tea bag thingy package because I wanted to be surprised and I can't quite pick out the flavors, but oh, they were so good this morning. Anyways, um, and knitting wise, somebody has kept me from doing a whole lot of it. I got one Advent sock done this week. Just one. Just one. But that's okay. It is so nice out. It is so hard to believe it's almost Christmas. Puppy and I just decided, like I said, I came to the end of the lane. I started listening to a book. It's a knitting murder book. It's a cozy mystery. I love these. Anyway, I can't remember what it's called, but that's okay. And uh, he just left me to walk around. I don't know where he walked. Oh, okay. So we have these, this field behind us. And it has gullies and valleys. And there is the, 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 I'm sorry, gullies and hills or whatever. And he likes to go out there and try to climb up the, to him, um, foothills. But he loves doing that. And yesterday, I gave him a milk bone, and he buried it out there. So I don't know where it's at. He's see, I'm sorry. This is more of a talking about Casper um, podcast than it is anything else. But um, he's learned that if he digs a hole, he can then cover it up with his nose and mouth. <sighs> oh, well. I'm hoping everybody's having a wonderful December. Um been doing well. Um, my father-in-law had to go back and see his urologist yesterday, which means he didn't have a great day. But that's okay. Hi! Did you want to say hi to everybody? Can you say hi, Casper? Yeah, that's my boy. I have to watch it. He has a habit of hanging up on me when I have a phone call. So, <laughs> anyways, this is going to be a very short podcast. I don't have a whole lot to say. Um, I'm finishing up the Advent sock that I was working on last week today, hopefully, and then I'll start another Advent sock. So hopefully this will mean I have six done, I think, because as soon as I get done with these, then I'm going to start doing finger puppets, and all the kids might get those next year. We will see. Just because, you know, I don't care if Genevieve's going to be 11, it's always fun to play. So, or she might end up getting Barbie clothes and everybody else gets them. I haven't decided yet because that's a year away. But anyways, tried to see where my boy went. Casper! There he comes. Yes, did you come when Mommy called? That was a good boy. That was a good boy. (laughs) I'm trying to encourage him to eat more of his food than milk bones. And whereby every time he was going to the bathroom outside, I was giving him a milk bone. Now he gets one milk bone when we go back inside. Because I really want him to eat his meals. He would leave them there for two days, that, which told me he's getting too many milk bones. So, yeah, he was over there climbing the hills. Anyways, well, I really don't have a whole lot to share today since somebody has been keeping me busy. been watching Christmas movies. I've started bouncing back on my ball again since um, Puppy does let me do that without too many accidents in the house. I try to catch him, but you know, that could be difficult sometimes. But yeah, you see, I have my son hat on. I'm going to see um, an endodontist on Wednesday, and uh, he's 
going to put a crown in a tooth. And then I go see my dentist two weeks later, I think. And he, he'll put in the, whatever they do to it. I just have no idea. I just want it to feel better. And then I've still got troubles with one or two other teeth, so. Hey, so I go to sleep at night and I wake up in the morning with a migraine. Not fun. But that's okay. <laughs> I am going to have to go because my ornery little boy just wants to wander everywhere. I don't want him going in the woods that we have back here because deer are back here. And I worry about him, you know, finding a deer, not knowing what it is, and trying to attack it. Or play with it. Could go either way. So I'm going to go ahead and go. Uh, the short podcast is sometimes short or good. And next week I'll have to show you the teas I'm picking this weekend. Show you what I get next week. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope all, or great week. I hope all your knitting projects are successful without any mistakes. If there are mistakes, I hope they're little ones that are easy to correct. I love you all. Big hugs. Take care. And God bless. And Merry Christmas. There won't be an ending to this. You won't get to hear my Scottish song. Sorry about that. Okay. Bye-bye.